Thank you, Lord. The Lord says, I know that it's dark. And God said, I know that many in the land have lost hope. But God would say this, have you forgotten that when I started in the book of Genesis, I started off in darkness. And while the enemy, says the Lord, looked like he had triumphed and destroyed what I had declared, I came back to visit the earth and know this, says the Lord, there is a divine visitation on the way, not only to the United States of America, but there is a divine visitation, says the Lord, that is coming back to the earth because the earth is mine and the fullness thereof. And I'm going to embarrass the enemy, says the Lord, until they hang their head in shame. This is not just another fad, says God. And though I have been slow in speaking, and though it seems like no one knows what's happening, I, thy God, saith the Lord, have never been out of control. There is no demon spirit that I do not have authority over. And there is no plan that the enemy has that I have already not destroyed. For in the midst of darkness, says God, even as the enemy has has planned. Know this, I have already set forth an answer before the enemy could ever set in place that which he has desired. For when it looked like there was no rain and the prophet Elijah stood up and said, there is rain for I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. The Lord would say this, I took the prophetic and let them outrun the evil rulers that were in that day. And know this, saith God, that though the evil looks like it's triumphing in the land I have already sent the prophetic ahead I've set in their rooms I've set in their board meetings I've set in their clandestine meetings and I have already loosed the answer be not weary says the Lord and be not moved for you are the generation that shall see the uncovering of the glory of God your eyes will behold that which the prophets desire to look into uh, for this is the hour saith God uh, of not a revival but of the final harvest by the spirit of the Lord uh, this night saith God uh, I loosen an authority of the Holy Ghost uh, in this building uh, I command every spirit of infirmity uh, to leave this sanctuary for I started in a tent saith God uh, my anointing is on a tent saith the Lord uh, and this night in Alabama, I loose, hallelujah, a sovereign release uh, of the glory of God uh, that from the back to the front uh, I loose healing uh, in this building. Uh, in the name of the Lord, uh, I give you authority, says God. Uh, have you forgotten uh, that in you was given all the power of the Holy Ghost? Uh, bind it, says God, uh, and I'll bind it. Loose it, says the Lord, uh, and I'll loose it by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. For years, saith the Lord, the church has only touched the fringes of evil. And while it looked like churches got bigger and more affluent, yet the church got weaker and the enemy got stronger. It is not politics that brought this nation into bondage. It was the weakness and the lack of worship in the house of the Lord. And this move of the Lord, hear me saith God, uh, there is already an Ananias, a Sapphira judgment that has been loosed in the body of Christ. Uh, for I am holy and you will be holy, saith God. Uh, I will not allow my anointing to rest on flesh. Uh, and for every charlatan, uh, for every false prophet, for every man that has raped my people, uh, I loose out of heaven judgment upon them. Uh, for this is a time, saith God, uh, that I I hear the cry of the man of Gadara, and I am crossing the waves of the Sea of Galilee, and I am saying, be loosed by the power of the Lord. For this year is a year of suddenlies. And I have waited, saith God, to intervene. Because I have waited until what men hoped for in the natural died. For my power does not need a man to be president 
in order for me to be God. My power to be displayed never needed a, a Republican or a Democrat to stand in office. But I come out of the holiest of holies. And when I say, let there be light, there shall be light. And in this hour, saith the Lord, I have waited until everybody, when they see what I do, will say, man could not do this. This did not come out of government. This did not come out of the voting booths. But this came out of the heart of the Lord of glory. And now, saith God, there are strongholds that are so rooted in the earth that they look like they're impossible to break down and to destroy. But when I got ready, saith the Lord, to birth the church, I did not march forth into the upper room, but I marched into the gates of hell. And I began to destroy the bondage that had been upon my people. And there will never be any books written about this last move because this last move will culminate in the rapture of the church, saith the Lord. Prepare your heart, saith God. This is not just another time. This is just not another wave of men that have become famous or popular. But I have raised up men and women in this hour that have come out of obscurity, that are blood-bought, that are not ruled by pride, not ruled by money and not ruled by fame but these men saith the Lord cannot be bought and they cannot be intimidated my God I feel the Holy Ghost in this place in the name of the Lord I loose upon you hallelujah for so long there has been no victory in the house of the Lord even the songs that have been written cause my people to hang their harps on the willow trees but I declare to you saith the Lord this this is not a weeping hour. Weeping has endured for the night. But I stand today upon the edge of nothing. And I say, let there be light. Get your harps up over the willow trees. For out of your spirit, joy, joy, joy cometh in the morning, saith the Lord. And even now as the enemy has sat in private behind closed doors and strategized and has said, this is what we will do next. They do not know, saith the Lord, that there is nothing done that the eyes of the Lord do not see and that the ears of the Lord do not hear. And my word has already declared there cannot be a this, saith God, if there has not already been a that. And this is that, saith the Lord, that was released at the day of Pentecost. But this is not just the former rain, saith God, but there is a deluge coming in this hour. This is the former and the latter rain together by the Spirit of the Lord. And the strongholds, strongholds that have been in your schools, that have been in your government, that have bled over into your culture until your babies are being murdered uh, and sexual identity has brought confusion uh, and that which is right is called wrong uh, and that which is evil, uh, hallelujah, is be called good. Uh, but do you not know uh, I did not create you uh, and I did not create the earth uh, for the enemy to turn it into something that is ugly uh, and sinful. Uh, but when it is over, saith God, uh, even now there are strongholds uh, that I I have come against uh, that you cannot see uh, and they're being pulled down by the power of the Lord. I know, saith the Lord, that there has been much spoken prophetically that looks like it has not come to pass. But have I not always confirmed my word with signs, wonders, and miracles and as I cause the early church to stand in awe and marvel at what I did with ignorant and unlearned men that the world called 
So am I going to cause you to marvel, says the Lord. Your eyes shall behold that which will exceed all medical breakthroughs. Your eyes will behold that which man says is impossible by the Spirit of the Lord. Now say it, God, I command blindness to be broken in the name of the Lord. That those of you that are listening around the world under the sound of the voice of this prophet of God, I begin to loose divine healing upon you in the name of Jesus. I call legs that have been amputated to begin to grow out in the name of the Lord. I loose radical faith in this building. God said, give me a man, give me a woman that will stand up and say, the Lord has declared it and it shall be. God says, I I will invade your world. I'll invade your homes. I'll invade your nations. For such a time as this has the Lord come upon the scene. Hallelujah. The Lord says... That when I got ready to bring Israel out of Egypt and give her her inheritance, the last thing that I did was I loosed a death angel in the earth to deal with the spirit of Pharaoh that had brought my people into bondage. And hear me, says the Lord, before this year is out, the death angel is being loosed upon the earth. And what they concocted and created in laboratories called coronavirus will pale in comparison, saith the Lord, to the spirit that the death angel will loose upon the nations. And it will not touch my people. For the first virus, says the Lord, that the enemy brought came against the innocent and the old. But this, saith God, will not touch the church. Some will fall on your right hand, as I declared in Psalms 91, and they will fall on your left hand, but it shall not come nigh unto thy dwelling. For I am coming back for people that are without spot, wrinkle or blemish and that includes physical malady says the Lord so know this that what you have seen in the 40s and in the 50s is just a prelude to what your eyes shall behold in the power of the Holy Ghost this move of the Lord will get a hold of your children that have never been in the house of God get ready your four and five years old are going to be baptized with a baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. The days will come that the buildings will not hold the crowds. Tents will go up all over the place. Not just one moment, not just one day, but day after day. And even though there's been a reprieve to theaters, I did declare that I would remove them. Know this saith God, there is a permanent closure coming to theaters. There is a permanent closure coming to sports because I am God and I will not share my glory with another. What I am releasing in this hour, saith the Lord, you will not have to go into newspapers. You will not have to buy airtime. But from CNN to Fox to your local nations, they will come and say, can we film what's going on? And while they are filming, I will begin to fill them with the Holy Ghost and fire. I am going to take that which the enemy said was mine and I will stamp them with the nature and the glory of God until they are changed by the power of the Lord. You will be a receptacle of what I'm going to do. But this time, God says, I don't need man's help. God says, as I corralled the devil in the Garden of Eden, and as I corralled him when I went into hell when I was crucified, this time, says the Lord, 
It's the final battle before the rapture. And men will stand and see the sovereign intervention of the power of God. I heal your eyes right now to begin to see in the spirit. I touch your ears to begin to hear what the spirit is saying unto the church. I begin to put in you a hunger for my presence and my glory. I break the spirit of pleasure off of you, and I break the spirit of entertainment off of you, says the Lord. And this night I baptize you in this house with a hunger for the glory of God. That as you begin to go back to your homes, you will say, what's happened to me? What's going on with me? I've got to get along with the Lord. Then I will begin. Old men will dream dreams. Young men will see visions. And upon the servants in the hand may not saith the Lord, will I pour out my spirit? Be not moved what the media says. Be not moved the raging of the enemy. Do you not know there would be nothing if it was not for my power? I'm still God. I will not bow down, says the Lord, to the powers of darkness. But but you're getting ready to see uh, every knee bow uh, and every tongue confess uh, that Jesus, uh, not Buddha, not Muhammad, uh, but Jesus uh, is the Lord of glory. Uh, for there is an exaltation uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ in this hour, and men everywhere uh, will begin to cry, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the coming of the Lord. Just as in the Old Testament, that there was a Saul house that did not value the presence of the Lord, though I blessed him, I tore his kingdom away, and I gave it to a man after my own heart. Hear me by the Spirit, saith God, I am in the middle of tearing away kingdoms from Saul men that I honored and I blessed and I prospered but they did not give me the glory this hour saith the Lord did I not declare the last days I would raise up the tabernacle of David and this time, saith God, it's not a Saul that's going to rule in the house of the Lord, but it is a David that's going to rule in the house of the Lord. It will be a David, hallelujah, that I have pulled out of obscurity. But in the middle of your obscurity, in the seasons that you thought God forgot you, you killed your lion and you killed your bear. And I tell you by the Spirit of the Lord, when I begin to thrust men and women into their purpose, there will not be any need for training, for you are already trained. There will not be any need for God to overshadow you with a new gift but there are gifts this night saith God the gifts of the Lord that are in you that have been silent I begin to blow on them by the power of the Holy Ghost I loose the psalmatic gift I loose the gift of the spirit I loose the gift of preaching I loose the gift of music I loose the gift hallelujah of being able to release the word of the Lord I have always taken men and women nobody thought I could use. And those are the ones that I raised up. (laughs) Hear me say it, God, if I can pull a man out of the cab of a truck and make him a voice to nations, can I not pull him out of college rooms? Can I not pull him out of hospitals? Can I not pull them, hallelujah, out of secular jobs? 
and release in them the word of the Lord. I see in the spirit, saith God, that there is a season coming, saith the Lord, that men and women all of a sudden that have never played an instrument, all of a sudden they will sit down and out of their hands and out of their mouth will begin to flow heavenly gifts and anointings. And it will not be because they are savant. It will be because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God says that the music in the house of the Lord has been tainted and it's been unclean. But there is another sound, a Davidic sound, the sound of the tabernacle of David. This sound, saith the Lord, is coming out of personal relationship. And when I begin to release it, even as there's a heavenly choir in heaven that sings a song of the Lord, so is there going to be a song that will hit an entire body of believers at one time. And though you've never learned it, it's never been written. The song of the Lord will come out of a body of believers as a heavenly choir. And when you begin to sing, saith the Lord, demons will begin to run. You are getting ready, says God. The Lord says that one of the reasons it's been so difficult to break through into divine healing and the miraculous is because intermingled, this is what I'm hearing in the spirit right now. He says intermingled in the building there have been demonic beings that stood to hinder. But I thy God say unto thee what you're getting ready to see and what you're getting ready to experience will be services that demons cannot cross the bloodline. <laughs> Hallelujah. And inside the building, there will be such a purity of the presence of the Lord that no demon will be able to hinder. The unbelief will be able to cross the bloodline. And then you shall see the fullness of what they saw in the book of Acts. What they saw down through the generations of time. When what you saw with A. E. Allen and Catherine Kuhlman. So shall you see. But this time, saith the Lord, it's going to be different. There will be such a ethereal presence of God. Such a pulsating power of the Lord. And this day, saith God. I'm going after governments of every nation uh, that have set up and said we're getting rid of Jesus. Um, we're going to shut down churches. Hear me. As long as I am holding off the rapture, uh, there will never be the church shut down uh, in the United States uh, of America. There will never be a law passed uh, that says no more gathering together. I this day saith the Lord uh, stand in front of this place and declare to you uh, where the spirit Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty I am not a man say a God and I have to bow down I am not ruled by your government I'm not ruled by your supreme court I am the supreme court say a God I am the king of kings and the Lord of Lords and I don't have to make it happen I can just speak it saith God God said, I've had too many men that are standing pulpits that were intimidated. And they love the praises of men more than the praises of God. God said, I've raised up men in this hour. The Lord says, I have raised up an Elijah company of men that are not moved by Jezebel. And just as the dogs lick the blood of Jezebel, hear me, this ancient spirit that transcended from the Old Testament into the New and that today has surfaced in this nation and in other nations, I have allowed her to live to show my glory. But I tell you by the Spirit of God, I did not let Elijah die, but I translated him. 
I put his anointing on the forerunner called John the Baptist. And that spirit is still alive in the earth. What you are feeling, says God, is that the church is coming and the earth is coming to a Mount Carmel showdown. What you're seeing right now, says the Lord, here, Mama Sunday. What you're seeing right now is the prophets of Baal are doing their thing and they're roaring and they're great in number. But what they don't realize, they're standing off to the side. There's an Elijah man. There's an Elijah company that is not intimidated, that has looked at them and said, Where's your God? I tell you by the Spirit that their God is not a God but he's man made and in this hour hear me when the enemy cannot bring the fire down did I not say that I am a consuming fire did I not start the church off with I baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire and tongues of fire set upon each of them there is a fire of purity that's getting ready to come and this Elijah anointing is going to touch the very powers of heaven there is another release, another release of the glory and of the power of God. Do not be moved by what you see. Oh, my children, I say unto thee, it is well, it is well, it is well. You are serving the King of kings and the Lord of lords. So every demon today, we curse in the name of the Lord. Many have thought that as I begin to move, it would come in first major cities. But it will begin to be happening in small places. Unexpected places. When my glory fell at Pentecost, it did not fall in the temple. It fell in an upper room. And this day, there are upper room men and women all over the earth that have been waiting for the promise from on high. And though I tarry long, says the Lord, when I come, I will come speedily. And though I've said it before, I say it again, says the Lord. What you are going to see when God shows up will happen in a literal 24-hour period. And the enemy has always tried to counterfeit what I do, says the Lord. And one moment, the earth is in freedom and liberty and prosperity. And look how fast, says God, the enemy has suddenly came upon the nations. Freedom was gone. Faith was gone. Prosperity was gone. People were ruled by fear in just a few months' time. But what the enemy could not do, I will do. And it won't be months, saith God, but this is a suddenly that's going to hit the earth. And then there is a release of the anointing of the glory of God. It's going to come on Indonesia. That is a Muslim country. And all of a sudden, the glory of God. Hear me. Just as day gone fell down before the ark of the covenant in obedience, so am I going to take the gods of this earth and make them bow down to the king of kings and the Lord of Lords. My book is not a fiction book. I am not a fiction character. I am not for the weak and the emotional, unstable men and women, but I am the God who has created all things. And though there has been silent for generations, I loose, hallelujah, this day in the atmosphere, a sound. Grab a hold of the mantle, saith God. Grab a hold of the mantle of Elijah and 
declare where is the God of Elijah I'm going to part the rivers that said you could not cross I'm going to open doors that the devil said could not be open I'm going to take the best that the enemy has and I'm going to release it to the kingdom of the Lord for the enemy says God counterfeit church and he built sanctuaries called theaters set up platforms with screens gave them ushers and people came to be entertained now hear me says the Lord I am going to deal with Hollywood and I'm going to replace them with the hand of God in this hour the Lord says that I'm going to replace entertainment with the presence of the Lord and God said whereas you have done away with Sunday night services because the enemy had the people in entertainment the Lord said they're coming back to the house of the Lord and the Lord said that get ready it's not going to be we have to go oh I hope we don't get it don't long but he said church is going to be so magnificent it's going to be so glorious that they're going to stand outside you're going to have to get there early because of the power and the anointing and the glory of God this is not saith the Lord as in other days this will never be remembered for a man's talent or ability what you will remember is the abiding presence of the Lord there will be seasons where the whole church will lay on their face under the presence of God and come to two and three hours later and when you get up you're healed you're delivered you're set free by the power of the Lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, may there be a shout be released. As I'm ending, this is what I feel the Lord to say. There is a spirit of fear that has gripped Christians. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Hear me by the Spirit, says the Lord, for your safety is not in a mask and it's not in a shot it's in the blood of the lamb and I have declared saith the Lord that you will not fear what man can do unto you for you cannot be touched unless I allow you to be touched by the power of the Holy Ghost so in the name of Jesus from front to back and from side to side I break every demon spirit of fear in the name of the Lord every spirit of fear fear of death hallelujah fear of losing your job fear of the enemy is going to destroy your nation I bind the spirit of fear you foul demon of hell I break you in the name of Jesus now to you that are tithers I make a covenant with you that you will not ever be broke but I'm going to supernaturally bless you as the woman with the well hallelujah as the woman with that one thing of oil so do I loose upon those that are givers the blessing of God I cause heaven to be open over you in the name of Jesus by the power of the Lord so I get ready to give this back to brother Timothy you're going to have to stay strong And instead of allowing the enemy to curse you with your own mouth, you need to start declaring what God has already said. No weapon. No weapon. Hallelujah. My God, I feel the spirit of the Lord. I feel a boldness of the Holy Ghost. 
in the name of Jesus. Some of you need to rise up in the spirit of God. There are some of you need to come right down up front and begin to declare, God, baptize me with the spirit of boldness. Loose me by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on. You can come on. The Lord has stirred the waters in this tent tonight. There is nothing that's going on in your life that Jesus, hallelujah, has not already made the remedy for. And so as you come, instead of asking God to do it, I want you to begin to thank the Lord that you've already received it. For if you ask anything in my name, believing that you have received it, hallelujah, you shall have it. Lord, let there be a spirit of faith. Begin to go, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God change you tonight. Let God break intimidation off of you. Let God baptize you with boldness. Charge the enemy. You've got the authority. You've got the power. You've got the anointing. You are already blood bond. You are changed by the power of God. Let the roar of the light of Judah come up out of your spirit.